Hey everybody, Carver Hayes with you. Welcome. We're going to do Donruss uh, 2017, 2017 18, five bucks, number 28. I just got five boxes off the top of the case that we started yesterday. Son of a motherless goat. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Effity. Yep. Son of a bitch. I think these at least go through smoothly, relatively smoothly. Dude, even West Coast people aren't having this shit right now. Oh, Max. Yeah, not, not by, ch not by choice exactly. Just we got backed up. We did, did a couple of uh, full cases on Rip City, and then uh, things just got things got delayed here. This isn't the last one. I do not anticipate a problem with me going to sleep tonight. I can say, I can say that. Because I'm going to run basically another 12 hour shift. Eh, you know, I mean, it's not a bad problem. It's not a bad problem to have. I wish I'd been more efficient in selling my brakes. Uh, in Rip City. 
Because I, I started this like an hour. I started eBay like an hour late. And it was a full case uh, hobby break, basically. And then my dumbass, uh, you know, decided to put a Donruss break at the end of the night, so. Got that going for me. What are you even doing up? Or did you, are you getting up to start your day? Far to hate Don Russ. <sighs> well, I'm Sorry to hear that you're having to work those shitty hours, but welcome all at the same time. I got to work at uh, about 3 today. Eh, maybe like 3.30. The shitty thing is I'm not even done. Like once, once I cut the stream off, I got another 45 minutes to an hour worth of doo doo to do. You don't think it's you don't think it's like been well I mean uh, 20 years and now I guess maybe you've gotten used to it, but I mean I hear like terrible things about people doing shift work that it causes uh, you know health issues I kind of imagine you get used to about anything. No, if your if your wife works the same thing, so that's that's all right. Yeah, because I mean it sucks. Like I'm gonna get home about the time that the wife is like waking up to. Like, start her day, basically. Like, the baby's gonna be ready to get up and eat and stuff. I do like sleeping late. That's the one thing. Like I don't. It it almost doesn't matter if I go to sleep at uh, like 
at midnight or if I go to sleep at uh, four in the morning. Like I would still like gladly get up at like noon. Like I don't, it's I do. I like to sleep late. It's it's weird. And I mean seriously, like I mean, I'll get home today. At the, I mean, at this rate, probably about six. And I'll get up like eleven thirty or twelve and, and start my start my garbage. If I if unchecked, and I went to bed at midnight, I I would still like stay in bed until like eleven. Just. I mean, I, I'm rarely left in ch you know, out of check, but I can, I mean, I, I can sleep like nobody's business. Okay, Let's stretch for one quick second. Traffic is exceptional at uh, the times I go into work though when I do this kind of you know have to have to run the schedule so that's good all right Let's see what we've got. Mercifully, these things do slide smoothly. Sundarius Thornwell to uh, two ninety nine. Press proof. Max, you're telling me. I mean, so, I mean, I mean, a good chunk of the time, like I do work, like the, you know, like nine to five or not, you know, nine to six kind of shift. And like, if I go home, then it takes me 45 minutes to get home with just traffic. Like it will take me 20 minutes at maximum, at absolute maximum, to get home tonight probably closer to like 15 and that's not i mean I'm, and that's not even driving crazy just uh like you know normal driving just because there's nobody on the road a del curry autograph for Charlotte? Why am I not super surprised? Even coming in, like if I, I mean if I can come in, if I can come in at three o'clock or something, then it's not bad. Frank press proof. I would still rather be home right now. I mean I'm I'm not gonna lie about that. I would rather be home at this point. This is this is a little too late for me. Uh, Moody A uh, to one ninety nine. George Hill swatch card for the Jazz. Eh, yeah, I mean, t technically yes, but 
to have like everything he you know at the office or at home you know like if you know somebody wants to do something weird and random it's it's just a pain plus i mean you got to have like i mean basically like a dedicated office which i don't have space for right now with the baby to do it so i mean i i, I don't mind the office at all I mean, it's it's kind of like a little bit of a refuge, kind of like I can, you know, just be here. And I mean, and again, I mean, it's it's fifteen twenty minutes away. It's not bad, but I de but I definitely get what you're seeing. I get what you're saying. I mean, it, it could I, I could just you know do this at home and then turn around and just lay in bed. Semi to two ninety nine for the Celtics. Frank autograph on card next. Trying to decide now if I actually want to clean up the outside of the office. Um, Walking Dead, I have, uh, I have now. I have got, uh, I think, season two. Walking Dead, I've got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I've got some Marvel gems, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, to two ninety nine, I just don't know how to go about breaking it. And I mean, frankly, like I mean, that stuff is a little bit like can be toxic. Tony Bradley, because if it's not hot, like out of the gate, the price drops so much faster than other stuff. And we do our best not to sell stuff at a loss. Ronde Hollis Jefferson, uh, two ninety nine. So we get stuck with a bunch of stuff that, like, we you know, if you if you wanted, if you asked, like, hey, do you have a box of uh, Walking Dead? I got yeah, I got a box of Walking Dead. If you want it, if you ask me how much you wanted, how much I wanted for it, I would tell you what I paid for it. Which would be significantly more than you could get at a blowout, you know, or da or Dave and Adams. So then it just kind of like, eh, you know, I, I, so I so I don't even bother to like try and really sell it. Because if I, if I know you can get it somewhere cheaper, I, don't, I just I don't like I just I don't like pushing it. Uh, Giannis to uh, forty nine. But I had a Guardians of the Galaxy break at one time that I had considered doing like a like a card type break. Uh, ben Simmons to two ninety nine press proof. So we kind of I mean we haven't I don't know we don't mess with a mess with a lot of that stuff anymore. And then like we've we've been burned so hard in the past like from uh, the Star Wars and. That other kind of stuff, the stuff that I would want to get, like uh, Rick and Morty, came out recently. That I would, I would like to have gotten a couple of cases of that just to have played with, and uh, it was like a, mm, not so much on getting that just because it was uh, just because other things had gone so poorly.
so thirsty. God damn, three more stacks. And uh, Alec Burks to uh, Hockey, hockey's a little bit tricky because upper deck makes basically all of the hockey. And upper deck is like very uh, protective of brick and mortar shops. So like any new upper deck stuff, we can't carry because we don't have a store because we're just like an online retailer. So you, like, you have to have like an actual brick and mortar shop to, to sell new upper deck. Older upper deck, like it's not, not an issue, but the new stuff we can't do. And I, I know, I mean, I, I, I like hockey, but I don't follow it enough to know like what the good stuff is. You know, I mean, you might, you, you know, you can tell me like there's, you know, Upper Deck Hockey uh, Zeta. And, for, I mean, for all I know, it's this. You know, ver versus something else. Thomas Bryant, 20199. So, like, I don't even know what good hockey is to even get, like, dollar-wise. Uh, dang for the Wolves. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it, I mean, for Upper Deck, it's just one of those things. Marcus Aldridge uh, to uh, two ninety nine. Uh, Elgalskis autograph for the Cavs, and I don't. I mean, I don't mind that they do that. Like, I mean, I like brick and mortar shops. It's just, it's just not realistic I don't I don't think that much anymore to have them it just costs I mean so there's so much overhead because the wife has like a small business like she makes uh, gift baskets and I mean between like rent and insurance and just like You know, business taxes and just all manner of just shit that it, that it costs to have like a, a, a place you can walk into. It's almost not worth it because I mean, like, you know, I mean, Bowman is like, you know, what three seventy five a box right now selling for on the on blowout. If you had a if you had a brick and mortar, you'd almost have to charge four hundred bucks for it just to cover like all of your extra garbage. And then nobody's gonna want it because they can get it on blowout for uh, for three seventy five. Wesley uh, to ninety nine for the Magic. So you look like a dick for uh, selling something like what what others would consider overpriced when it's not when it's not overpriced. It's just you know what you got to sell it for to you know cover your cover your business. Back to the future, Batum. Sterling Brown is uh, two forty nine. We had threatened to even get a shop at some point. 
Yeah, I mean, and you know, Max, I don't, I don't think they're, they're, not, I don't think they're trying to gouge you. They're not. I mean, they're really not trying to gouge you. It's just they know that they have to mark up X percentage to cover what you know what they what they do business wise. But but very few people think about it that way. Frank, New York. I mean, one thirty seems seems a little bit high, but. Yeah, then like then you run into like a very ugly kind of like circle that do you sell it for a hundred dollars, but you have to try and sell fifty cases of it at a hundred bucks to get through, or do you sell five cases at one hundred thirty dollars to to cover what you need to get? Dwayne Bacon to uh, two ninety nine. I do not. I would. I would. I would not ever want to run an LCS. Not ever. I mean, you'd, you'd have to almost run a breaking operation out of it. Which I mean, like half defeats the purpose. Chandler Parsons to uh, one ninety nine. I know it's it's a tough one. I mean, you got to come in. You got to carry. You know, kind of weird stuff too. Collectibles and other bits of oddball business. DeAndre Jordan uh, to two ninety nine. Like I think the one that's uh, that's like across the street from us. I it, I feel like they have to be laundering money for somebody because there's no way they could. I mean, they can stay in business. I mean, like they—I mean, they were selling Bowman packs at one point, and I can't remember what the what it, if it was Chrome Draft or what. But I would have sold the pack for let's say ten dollars. Like, if you if you if you desperately wanted to buy a pack for me, it would have been ten bucks, like, and that would have been with me to charge for the shipping, for the hassle, for all of it. And I think he he was at Kyrie Irving to a two nine nine, charging like seventeen dollars or something. Like, it was just not realistic that anybody would, would be buying it from him. All right, just a heads up. Markel Fultz, Swatchery. The second that I get done with this, I'm off. I mean, unless you tell me that you want something uh, right now, and I'll gladly stay and do anything that you may, that you may want. I'm happy to do that. But if you if there's nothing you want, the second I get done with this, I'm cutting it off. Dwayne Bacon autograph to ten for the Hornets to Deace. I think I'm too tired to even. I just I don't know. Sometimes like there's like a like some. Uh, uh yeah, Max. I mean, listen. I will give it to you at ex at what I what I paid for, it and no, absolutely no more if you're interested. I'll if you if you're interested, I'll figure out uh, what it was. Tell you tell you how much it is, and if you want it, you're you're more than welcome to it. I got I got like four cases of it. So I just didn't, I didn't want to, like, I know there's, like, a delay with YouTube. 
So I, I didn't want you to think I was just like disappearing on you. But it is hella fucking late. Derek Rose to uh, two ninety nine. Sorry, Cam, uh, to one ninety nine. All right, Max, have a nice, uh, nice sleep, and uh, I, I will be on tomorrow. up with autographs uh, for Dwayne Bacon to 10 for the Hornets, uh, Ilgauskas for the Cavs, uh, Dang for the Wolves, Ben Simmons press proof, not an auto, but nice card, uh, Frank, New York Knicks on card, and a uh, Del Curry, significant signatures. So thank you everybody, we'll get this right out to...